In this video, we're going to be working on single digit division. Now, this is long division, and I've given myself four digits in each of the dividends, but of course, this applies to if there's two, three, or 10,000. I'm not going to do 10,000, that would be crazy. Let's look at our one digit going into four digit long division. First, I'm going to start to see if I can fit my divisor into the first digit of my dividend. Does two fit into eight? Yes, two fits into eight four times. I'm gonna write that four directly above the number that it goes into. Now I'm gonna multiply. Four times two equals eight. I then subtract. Eight minus eight gets me zero. And I bring down the next digit. So now I'm looking at two fitting into seven. Two fits into seven three times. Now, it doesn't fit in exactly. That's as close as we can get without it being too big because we have to subtract. So now I'm gonna multiply three times two, which gets me six, and I subtract seven minus six, and I get one. I'm gonna keep bringing down these digits until there are none left. So I have to grab that three and bring it down. Now I'm looking at two fitting into 13. Two fits into 13 six times without going over. So I'm gonna write that six. Six times two is 12. And I subtract. 13 minus 12 gets me one. I still have digits to bring down. And now I'm looking at two going into 11. Two fits into 11 five times without going over. So I write that five. Five times two equals 10. I subtract one minus zero gets me one. I'm left with a remainder of one. Whatever you have left over, make sure you write it next, next to your quotient. Let's look at another example of long division. Here I have seven being divided into 8,360. Again, I'm gonna check the first digit of my dividend. Does seven fit into eight? Yes, if it's in one time. Now I multiply one times seven, gets me seven. I subtract, eight minus seven is one. Bring down the three. 7 goes into 13 one time. 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract. And I get 6. Bring down your other 6. 7 into 66 fits in 9 times. 9 times 7 is 63. 66 minus 63 gets me three. I bring down the zero. Seven fits into 30 four times. Seven times four is 28. I subtract and I'm left with a remainder of two. So I have to include that in my quotient.